Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to execute Minecraft vanilla commands into your procedures. I have a system set up that if we hit F5 and then go to this view, we can go and type any message in and it will give us particles around the player every time we type something. For example, are the particles that are playing are through Minecraft commands. Before I get any further, so I don't have to come back in here, the easiest way to fill out a vanilla command is to actually type it out as if you were to basically run it. So I use particle and then you want to select your particle. So we could do something like uh, falling dust, explosion emitter. This is a pretty good one. And this is the relative coordinates. So you can also check on Minecraft Wiki for the explanation to all these things. Now this is the, the radius that it will play. So we might want to set it to one. And the next is speed. So we might want to set that to zero. And the next is count. So we can set that to 100. Now force is basically if it's being forced to see through a far distance like campfire smoke or if it's for normal then it's basically like any normal particles so and then if we play it as you can see a lot of things just spawn because we have a lot of them so we can lower the amount maybe one and you can see that it just kind of plays the uh, explosion emitter all around the player so when you have this actually the way you want it to actually look then what you can do is you can basically go and hit control a to select all the chat and then you can hit Control C, which will copy the chat. You can move into M Crater. And what I did was just a simple procedure. Uh, every time the player basically sends a chat message, I have it to run a, or execute a command. For this, you can just click the global trigger and then there's a drop it down box right here. And then it's right down here where it says play, player send chat. So the block that you're going to need is under world management and then there's the top one where it says execute command slash and then the command name and then the coordinates. So when you have that you want to click control V to paste it. When you basically paste the message there's always a, a slash that you basically have to delete so scroll to the beginning of the section that you just pasted in and then you'll want to delete that because there's already a slash basically run. It says execute command and then there's a slash right here meaning that you don't need to have that. The rest you can just put it wherever you need in your procedure. You could run it from a block or anything like that. So yeah that's all there is to it. Um, I'll leave a link down to the Minecraft commands Gamepedia page. So there's a whole topic on uh, Minecraft commands here. One thing I should know is if you're working with Forge, then what you want to do is go with the Java edition command. So anything that says yes, you can basically use. Anything that says the EE is education edition and BE is bedrock edition. So if you're making a bedrock mod, then you want to find things that say bedrock. If you want are working with Forge, then you want something that says uh, Java Edition. Down here is basically the op permissions. Uh, sometimes, you, generally, you don't need this if you're you're uh, modding it. But if you want to look into that, I think you can click on this or something. Or there should be a should be pretty easy to find if you go to server settings and stuff like that because that's kind of like a server feature but outside of that uh that's all that i have time for if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out